I'm Shane and welcome to Rockin' the Planet, the show that is dedicated to bringing New Zealand live music to your television screens, not only in the merry month of May, but every single week of the year. This week we have a show full of great original New Zealand music. We have live music and interviews with the Brendan Ham Band. Brendan himself, Gordon Joel, Steve Rollins and Pete Bayliss. They're here to play for us here in Auckland on Rockin' the Planet. The first a roundup of who's been out there rocking the planet this week. And on the local front, congratulations have to go out to Shay Fu for his Lifetime Achievement Award at the Vodafone Pacific Music Awards. The awards have been running for 10 years now and it's the first award he's received from them. It's well overdue. And now a pat on the back for a local organisation called Recorded Music of New Zealand. They're working hard helping Universal Records reissue the back catalogue of VMI's artists. All those vinyl albums that you've scratched and worn out will be digitally available again from Lee Grant, Craig Scott, The Formula and yours truly, Shane. It works out to be something close to 200 albums to be reissued. Great stuff. Okay, it's time for our special guest. We've got the Brendan Ham Band in the studio. Oh, fantastic band. Welcome, Brendan Ham. Good to see you, mate. Thank you, Shane. And nice it's to take your head off for a lady. Oh, well, sorry, what am I talking about? It's, it's, it's good to have you. Piece here. of cowboy's equipment, this, but uh, I knew it, and it's very more. important too. And it's a beautiful house. For you, Shane. Did you buy that in Nashville? I bought it in Denver, actually. Now, uh, tell us, where did this really begin? I mean, did you start singing as a teenager, or was it earlier? Mum and Dad bought me an acoustic guitar, and Dad used to take me into town religiously oh, every week because in the country we had to drive yeah. into Blenheim. Um, um, once a week for, for me for guitar lessons. And was Dad a, a musician himself? No, no. So no, he no. just wanted you. He, oh, he helped Mum's you. side, the musical side of the yeah, family. Yeah. But uh, isn't that no fantastic? They have parents mm. that take you there and do that. Yeah. So you started guitar and singing. Anyway, you would have gotten to a skiffle groove or something at school. I didn't have skiffle. No, you I, I actually didn't uh, get a <laughs> skiffle. <laughs> I oh, was in my era. That was my era. <laughs> <laughs> but um, did get into bands until I was well in my college years. So. Yeah. Compared to these guys, I probably started yeah. quite a bit later. Now, it's, you have a, obviously a, a deep love for country music, and that's really where you, you are. Um, I know you rock out a bit, but uh, slightly more than a lot of other country musicians. Yeah. Um, did it all start with country music for you? Uh, well, my heart's definitely in country music. Yeah. Um, but I've often wondered, you know, what, what influences you to the, what you like, but yeah. I think you're just born with your musical interests yeah yeah but um my parents record collection was a mixture from south pacific soundtracks right yeah, through yeah. to uh, buddy knox number one for a year that was south Richard, pacific yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay so um it wasn't your parents that really instigated the the the, the country music thing it was yourself no you, i just your liking involved, uh, yeah. who were your favorite artists in, uh, at um time? at the time when i was 10 a band status quo and you'd know status, status quo. quo. I think oh, it's the oh, only really time country. they've been to New Zealand. <laughs> uh, are my all-time favourite band, but They're they hot. were touring here, and I was, uh, Stu Dennison yeah. was on TV at the time, right. and, and it was an after-school kids program, and they were giving away tickets to the show. That's where my love of um, that kind of music, music and rock yeah, and roll, rock and, and roll, and rock music, he heavy, hard edge rock and roll. Yeah. But I think country music has always been there in my soul. Yeah. I see your career going further and further ahead. Have you got a new album in mind? Yeah, we were fortunate enough to be finalists, one of three finalists in the New Zealand Music Awards was uh, 2011 yep. for yep. a TUI. Yep. And we were really proud of that, with that album, would be, the live yeah. demos. Yeah. Um, we didn't win the TUI, but Doesn't just matter. to be a finalist nominated yeah, is, yeah. is great. And we think we've got another album yep. of originals and us for that. But it was yeah. lovely having you here, Brendan. And no, it's, it's so a interesting pleasure. catching Thank up with you. you. And I know, and I wish you all the best with your career. But I'm going to have to talk to other guys in the band. They're starting to look a little bit peeved. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Brendan. Now here is a track from the Brendan Hand Band, well, from their live album. It's called Walking on Broken Glass. You know where we're going.
working on broken glass. And that's an original written by Brendan himself. Now, just a reminder, if you love live music and dancing, you're all invited to join us at the CT Club at Ohini Rao Street in Remuera and be part of our studio audience while we film our live band of the week. Our next live band night will be Friday the 23rd of May with the Flaming Mudcaps. Promises to be a top night of rock and roll and I'll see you there. We've had a little shuffle and now we're back with the bass player of the Brendan Ham Band, Mr. Steve Rollins. Welcome Steve, good to see you here mate. Me too. And you're in good company, aren't you? What a great band. You, now, you've been together guys. 15 years? That's right, yes, that's right. 15 years, it must be like being married. Wow, and yeah, that sometimes. Can't, that can yeah. be a bad experience that's for some right, people. Yeah, I think we've learned to live with each other, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Only just. Just, I, yeah. I can see this, you're not enthusiastic about that, Steve. Oh, we have our moments, <laughs> I'm sure we have our moments. So there's no arguing in the band, no, no? Not really, no, it, no, they were all pretty easy going. No, yeah. it's, it's a fun yeah. band, isn't it? Yeah, and you're all excellent musicians, that's the good that, thing. That so helps. You, and you all contribute to the music. That's right, we all find our place in, in, in the music and add our own bit to it, which yeah. uh, makes the character of it. Now Steve, before you joined this band, I mean, you obviously you learned to play bass somewhere. Where were you from? Well, I'm from the typical story that you, 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 you're born into a musical sort of family with older brothers doing it, okay. and they form a band, and one of them leaves, and they say, oh, you play guitar, but we need a bass player. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there you go, yeah. uh, here, here's the bass, <laughs> here's the amp, I'll, I'll, I'll help you with some gear, and away you go. Just and that's, boom, that's basically how boom. I started. And, yeah. uh, and then unfortunately the brother came back eventually and um, took his and rightful spot on. back and I moved on and um, went and played with other people, which is great. But And you stayed on the bass right from that moment? From you that never moment, went back yeah, to guitar I, or anything? No, I pretty much stayed on the bass yeah, most been of the time. You've a bass time. player. I, You're I, steady I'm ass. a guitar player, but I'm, 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 I'm a better bass player, yeah. Yeah, you know, you're steady ass. I've worked with you myself and had the fortune to have you standing there playing bass while I'm singing Thank and that. It's much, fantastic. Yeah. No, no worries at all. Yeah. Well, it's pretty unheard of in this day and age that bands stay together that long. I mean, now these days, everyone plays for about five bands. You know, it's uh, not like the old days when we all stuck together right. and a unit was a unit and that was it. You're in the band and we're going to be a band for good. Well, I think um, what it is is that you've got four musicians, four good musicians together yeah. and um, we all enjoy playing with each other, playing music with each other. Thanks, Steve. Well, look, Steve, I'm going to have a little shuffle in a minute. We're going okay. to have, get in someone else up here. I think it's Mr. Gordon Joel. Thank you, Shane. So thanks for coming along tonight. Yes. And thanks for the great music Thank you're playing you. and great bass. So, guys, we're going to listen to In My Arms Again. When you kiss me When you hold me I'll be home Tell me I love you I'll see an angel in my arms Again tonight There's no reason Right or wrong For Wonderful music from the Brendan Ham Band. Now, if you're an accomplished musician, or you're just the beginning, and you have the desire to aspire to greatness in the music world, you need go no further than Music Planet, with nine stores throughout New Zealand. Their friendly and helpful staff know their stuff. All being respected musicians themselves, they are there to help and give excellent advice. No matter what your budget, new strings, drum skins, a new piano, a trumpet, guitars, they've got it all. So pay them a visit now. So you guys, do you shop at Music Planet? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you did. I knew you did. Anyway, look, I've got my next guest here. He's shuffled up the sofa and it's called, <laughs> here he is, Mr. Gordon Joel, drummer extraordinaire. Why, thank you, What Shane. else can I call you? Yeah. You are one of the best drummers this country's ever produced and your history goes back, can I say it? You can to say it. To the Herbs, uh, to Hello Sailor, Shane, Tom Sharplin, I can go through, I, I can read a list off. It would go on and on and on. But look, I came back in 1981, back to New Zealand. I've been overseas for a long time. And I came back and I went down to, uh, I think, I forget the name of the club, by the, under the Civic there in Auckland. Aladdin's um, Cabaret. Aladdin's it was, it was, Aladdin's Cabaret. And you were playing in there and I thought, wow, who's that guy? He's a great drummer. And I think the band was called Rock Candy. Rock Candy it was. And you were a resident band there. We You've were a resident there. there for five years. We, five years um, there, yeah. We were doing five to six nights a week down there, five hours a night. So um, it was a good place to hone your skills. Yeah, a lot um, of hours. Yeah, that was the beautiful thing about the late 70s and early 80s. We got to do a lot of playing. Yeah, and there was a lot of live music at that time. There was a lot of you live know, music. Everywhere had it. I think there was 14 clubs in the central yeah. Auckland area. And then you had all the time. pub circuit, yeah. all that sort of thing. Um, all of them sort of hosting probably five or six musicians. Yeah. Um, yeah, and all competing it. with each other, so they had to um, the best, you know. I hate that word competing. I know, but when they it were comes all. Music, I'm talking but about the pe the businessmen. Yeah, they yeah. were all competing with each other to get the people in the punters. They in, were, they were, and they wanted the best band they could get, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you were there five years, must five have been pretty years hot, we you know. Down there. But anyway, you yeah. moved on from there. Moved on from there um, after my stint with the um, Rock Candy, uh, Rock Candy, and and sort of the covers bands. I, I decided to um, move on to doing. Um, original projects yeah. um, and that's when I became involved with um, Satellite Spies, Herbs, Great Band um, too. Um, Hello Sailor, um, all of those different bands. It was just I, I guess a quest to start being a bit more creative. Yeah, um, more musical knowledge had arrived and yeah. what was it like working with Herbs if I can ask you? Um, I mean, th that was probably how could you put it? The highlight of my life. I was going to um, say that, that be, whole time. Be, must they, be amazing. Herbs was on a roll. Um, uh, Sensitive to a smile had just been released yeah. over in Australia. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to be able to take over the drum stool from Fred Faliotto, yeah, who's right. a yeah, wonderful yeah. drummer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, we were touring through Australia. We were touring through the South Pacific. Yeah. Um, just, just promoting, and just just working with those guys and playing those wonderful songs. Mm. Yeah, it was it was certainly a, an experience. Um, yeah, you would have been like we as were, close as. Yeah, yeah it yeah. was it was a family. And then you had a stint with uh, Hello Sailor. Hello Sailor, yep. Um, Another great band, New Zealand band. So. Uh, the, um, oh, it, was a, it was called The Album. The Album, uh, The, the Album. album. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a good project. I, I enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah. And you did some live gigs. I saw you working. Yeah, live quite a them. quite a few live quite gigs. We did, did a few tours with that yeah. that lineup, and uh, great bunch of guys. I really had fun working yeah. with Hello Sailor. I mean, you've an illustrious career, young man. Yeah. <laughs> now tell me, you've been writing some music uh, recently for your own album or yep. a drum album? Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, looking at um, drum and rhythm and melody ideas. Yeah. Mm. Um, but basically using um, the individual drums as musical voices. I was going to say, yeah, so it's, um, it's a drum, drum sing, singing drums. Singing like. drums, I think it's okay. probably a good way to sum it up. Yeah. Hey, I might use that term. Singing, singing it's a great, drums, use it for the album, singing drums. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, um, but that's how I'm looking at it, yeah. Um, I hear what you're saying, because I find some drummers very musical. Uh, you're one of them. Uh, I've been, you know, you've been behind me before, and you listen to what the singing, the singer is singing, and boom, 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 and you, you, can I say it on TV? You kick my ass, you know. You make me feel good. You, boom, you know what I'm going to sing the next thing, and you make, you push it. You make a singer sound sound better, um, and not many drummers do that. Uh, there's only a couple I can think of. You especially, though, are a very musical drummer, so your drums do sing, you know. Can I ask you, this drum album you're doing, are you yeah. on your own on this? It's just you um, I will probably feature some guest dubbing. players. Yeah, that would be yeah. a great idea. Yeah. Will you come in and tell us next time you're here yeah. about it? Because I want to hear it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing that because it's really experimental. And, and I know with your knowledge that you'd probably, mm. 
are using some nice South Pacific sounds and different things? Um, no, mostly just, um, how could you put it, tuned percussion, um, okay. which would be, I'm looking at it as a range of tom-toms. That's another name for the album, Percussive yeah. Persuasion. Percussive <laughs> Persuasion. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so picking up some ideas here. here Gordon, we'll just write them down, Gordon. Yeah. Hey, Gordon, it's a real hey, pleasure having yeah, you here, nice mate. Nice to talk to you, uh, You're one of the best drummers Thank you've you, ever mate. had, so keep rocking. So here's Claudette by the Brendan Hand Band, and then we'll do a little shuffle, and we'll talk to Pete Bates. Shuffle, Pete. Pete, you've shuffled up well. How are you, mate? Good to see well, you. Well, Shane, how are you? Always great to see a good old friend. Uh, and Pete, I've known you now, much. what? Since the, the other 60s, week. The it's 60s. definitely the other week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't look a day old, I know how you do My it. My eyes are packing up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that English sense of humour. I met you when you first arrived from England, basically. Uh, you arrived in New Zealand around about 1967. Seven. Seven. And you were in a band called Steam Packet. Well remembered. And yeah. Well, I, remember I came up to see you play, and you were fa and you're the only guy in the band I can remember. So there oh. you go. And of course, you you were a very nice guy. Oh, thank you. So um, you haven't turned out so well lately. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, tell me it. about those early days in New Zealand. In New Zealand, when you discovered New Zealand music, did you realise it was so healthy? I didn't have a clue. Mate. No. I was a kid from London, basically. I've been working in a group yeah. in London for about yeah. two and a half years. Um, we came here as a family. I knew very little about New Zealand because the only information we had came from New Zealand House. Yeah, and they And it, it was a lot of... I have to, anyway, we won't go into that. You and I can both go on that because yeah, we, I we remember won't, I but was but given a book and they had a, a kids going to school on a horse. That's it. This is how the kids the go to school book. in New Zealand. It was the same book, yes. And I thought, oh my God, this is normal. Yeah. I'm going to have to yeah. learn to ride horses <laughs> <laughs> to go to school. Yeah. Anyway, so you've got the same book. I've got the same book, yeah. But no, through a, a couple of happy accidents, I met a man named Rod Brown, affectionately known as Pixie, who was the bass player singer. Remember Pixie? Okay, Pixie, yeah, yeah. And anyway, Rod Brown. long since departed. Lovely, lovely man. Hmm. And he was, he was great to me. He took me under his shoulder in more ways than one. Musically and... He was a, like a big brother, yeah. really. There was about three. But he introduced years, you to the music scene years. in New Zealand. Definitely, really. and it was yeah. through becoming the guitar player for Steam Packet that I started working in the clubs where I think you were working there with Shane. Yeah, yeah. Um, the group was called Shane. Th there was loads of other people who become top lifetime and friends. You know. Fourteen eighty Village and places like that. Yeah. Mojo's Galaxy, Galaxy, and all yeah. those places. Yeah. I mean, you know, bands like the Action. And you were hot though because um, you had a different style, and obviously we, coming from England, you you had that. You were into the soul music quite very a lot. much. Yeah. So very much. James an Brown and all that sort of thing. You know, sort of based everyone went thing. Well, he played. Well, well. Our point of difference with the Steam Packet was we had a three-piece horn section. Yeah, exactly. And I everybody was using sort of one guitar, bass, yeah. drums in a. Probably his band, you know. You know, an organ. Yeah, every now and then. <laughs> to, to cover the, the uh, brass section. Yeah, brass exactly. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so I was sort of very much an R&B guy when I arrived. And, and stayed that way 
probably through until about 1970. And then a couple of people you know, Evan Silver and Mike oh, Wilson, yeah, yeah, yes, came back Mike from Wilson. Sydney uh, from a band called Compulsion. And they were just raving about this band called Poco. Poco, yeah, yeah, Poco, yeah, Which, yeah. That was the first electric country rock band I ever heard. They were amazing. Absolutely a blown Beautiful away. Beautiful harmonies. Jim Messina was. Yeah. Yeah, they the, were a great band. He was band. the Telecaster One player the in that band, you know, went on. They were the Procida of, um, of the Eagles, really. That sort of, I think well, they were sort of. The Eagles they ended bought, up with their bass player. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they bought yeah. that style of music, the harmonies. Very and, much so. Uh, that harmonies, nice great rock. playing. Yeah. But it was, it, was, it was country, but it was rock. Yeah, it's still rock. And it wasn't such a big transition. It sounds crazy. Mm. R&B, one minute you're working with sort of would-be jazz mm. playing horns, the next minute you're playing country music. But it wasn't such a yeah. leap, in all honesty. And since, well, life's been good. Yeah, well, it's been a great career, and I can see it going on and on and on and on and on. Wow. It Ooh. sounds like a long Return. journey. Yeah, but it's a damn good one, mate. <laughs> the best you can get. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> really good no, to have you here, Mion, It's mate. good to be here. Thank great. You. Let's go to another live track from the Brendan Ham Band. I really think these guys should do it as a single. It's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly They're flying high over the rainbow I think that's one of just one of the best verses I've heard. Brendan, you've got to record that man. Now look, I've got a little, I've got a, a surprise for you. I bought a present. guitar and I wish it was a present. If it, you wouldn't be getting it, I'd be getting it, right? <laughs> but it's a beautiful guitar. As you can see, it's called a spider. Now put this in your arms. I want you to just try that. Music beautiful. Planet, I've got this in store. I was in the store in Green Lane today. And I went in there and I saw this guitar. I was blown away by it. It's got this new string thing here that they do um, by this special design by this guy. Um, he's an American guy. Now I'll get the name off the guitar. It's called Babix. Babix, I would say. That's, that's a, it's a very difficult name to pronounce. <laughs> but he's done this new string arrangement here, as you can see, around the bottom of the guitar. And um, apparently it's using the whole guitar the body of the guitar to resonate the strings and so you get when you r run a chord down the strings ring longer Long sustain, it's really, yeah. yeah it sustains it's longer, you know. it too. and it's got a beautiful neck which is adjustable this whole thing you've got a little oh, there's the uh, key, on the back key the there and you turn it bang bang if you're going to play slide yeah, on it see. it's an amazing guitar nice. and i saw it in the shop and tried it and oh you just yeah look at that wow 
So yeah. we can't so keep this. We can't no, you can you can play it. This is it. This is it. And then I'm going to take it home, have a bit of a plan up myself, <laughs> and then I have to take it back to the shop tomorrow. But music, <laughs> yeah. music, yeah, music planet have just about got everything. I mean, do you guys have already said you do shop there? Yeah, definitely. And uh, that is a beautiful guitar. What do you think of that, Pete? Yeah, a beautiful neck on it. Yeah, beautiful neck. Yeah. It rings. Lovely. Yeah, it's the sustain, isn't it? Beautiful. Now look, I've got another surprise for you, Roger at Music Planet. I I got some strings off him today. I was in there getting some for my guitar. Elixir. Elixir, I guess you call it. But these are the ones for acoustic guitars. They're a little bit more um, expensive, I guess you'd say, but they are the goods, I'm telling you. Now, has any of you guys tried these? Yeah, I've used yeah. those. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Yeah. They're great, aren't they? And they really ring out. And they're the ones that are on that guitar, actually. Now, they're for you from Roger, Brandon. He sent them with me. He said, give a set to Brandon and Present. make sure he All uses right. them. Thank you, Roger. Music yeah. Planet. You've won a prize. So You've won a prize. <laughs> Three for me and one each for the guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and if I yeah, when you come back next year, we'll get the other set. <laughs> yeah, oh, thank but, you so um, much. Thank yeah, you. no, they're beautiful. Yeah, uh, cool. I tell you, they sound they ring out. Alexa, and um, they do, and of course, they're the only place you can get them at Music, Music Planet. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. Awesome, guys. It has been fantastic catching up with you. I can't explain how good it's been, like catching up with good old wine. I'm telling you guys are fantastic. It's been a, pleasure. Been a real you. pleasure. Happy days to all of you. Cheers. All the success. And Brendan, if I want to come and see you play now, you guys, where am I going to catch up with you? Well, we've got a couple of good gigs coming up later this month at Stetson Club in Dairy Flat in yep. Hamilton at the Workingman's Club. Um, you can check out the gig guide on my website at brendanham.com. Brendanham.com. That's where you can catch the guys. Thanks, guys. And thanks, Brendan. It's been a real pleasure having yep. you here. You're welcome. Rock the planet. So remember, you can catch up with the Rock and the Planet crew at the CT Club in Remuera, O'Hinney Rail Street, 7 o'clock Friday nights. Cheer, clap, dance along, have a ball, just come and let your hair down and enjoy the band and encourage them to rock on. Our next night will be the 23rd of May with the Flaming Mudcaps. On the show next week, though, we will be catching up with iconic New Zealand rockers Hello Sailor to discuss Dave McCartney's just-released memoir gutter black thanks for joining me i'm shane here on rockin the planet i'm wishing you a very good night we'll see you next week meanwhile let the brendan hand band take us home